guys for checking in. Uh, fellas, I'm going to go a little left today. Uh, I think as a, as a man, you want to you walk with integrity. You want to have um, some type of base level of principles and values and, and moral ethics to your dealings with when it comes to, to the women. Of course, you want to have those. But sometimes you may have to play a little dirty ball. And when I say dirty ball, you may not. A lot of the times, women would like to leave and, and interact with you based upon their terms, their conditions. If you're not abiding by their rules and regulations, then they, they, they find an issue with it. So a lot of the times you'll get into these conversations, especially when it's conversations around uh, cutting, it, cutting it on and off. Some of you guys, like I said, you like to do a little bit more serious dating. Some guys just want to smash and dash, pump and dump, do that. Some guys want to, you know... They want to really work it out and, and build a relationship with the lady that they're dealing with. However, sometimes it don't go that way. Sometimes you have to ghost some women in your life. You have to ghost women out of your rotation. Now, you got ghosting, and then you got cutting a chick off. Very, very similar, but not always the same. See, the ghosting process is when everything is ended without any communication. There is no... Um, what's the word? There's no cause and effect to it, if you will. And as far as that makes sense to her or other men, if they were the one on the end being ghosted, they'll ask, you know, why did she ghost me? Why did she ghost me? Could be several different factors why she ghosted you. Could be several different factors why you would want to ghost her versus cutting her off. A lot of times you say, I'm going to cut her off because she violated something that I stand on or she 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 did something that you, dis, you disapproved of. So you're going to... If you ain't gonna walk a straight line every time. Sometimes you're gonna have to, you know, like, you know, I'm just gonna go ghost. And that's gonna all be contingent upon your dealings with the woman and, and the type of relationship that you have with the woman. Uh, so if you're gonna ghost a woman, your own, what you stand on and what you see coming out of it should be your, your compass. And you shouldn't feel too bad about it because, again, if you really taking your, your red pills on a daily basis, it's not going to be too many women you're going to be even considering getting into a serious relationship. And when I say getting into a serious relationship, meaning giving her access to the side of you that most women don't get, if that makes sense, or uh, giving your energy that you would have given when you were in your beta, when you were in your beta male sta uh, state, when you were beta, when you were blue, blue pill when you was doing all the lovey dovey texting and you know sending the notes and going to see her and doing all of the you know these you know the stuff we you know you know what we did so you know if you don't see the situation or you feel that this woman is not bringing you the type of let's say convenience to your life that you feel that she should be because of the, the nature of the relationship or even if it's changing up a little bit a lot of the times you get too worried about a woman and her dealings with other men. You get mad at her and you you doing all you getting all this attitude. You need to cut that out. Stop being so emotional. Stop being emotional. You need to look at it as if, okay, this is you have to see where it's going. So the, at the slightest inclination that you see that the the relationship or your situation with her or your perception of her is changing to where it's not favorable, then you can politely bow out. You can just go ghost. No harm, no foul. Especially, again, this is when your communication is clear. You want to let the women know that this is not really what you, you know, I'm not going to be what you want me to be. If that's being blue pill beta, or, blue, or beta male scent mangina, like my boy BOA say, shout out to him. If you, you know, you can't let her dictate your position. A lot of times she want to get you the position that she wants you to have. So if you see that changing, you know, sometimes you got to go ghost. You got to erase her and move on with no, none of the closure, none of the, uh, you know, baby, we need to talk. We need to have a conversation. We need to, none of that is necessary because the nature of the relationship should be consistent from your end from beginning to end so 
small conversations, like I said, you'll let her know, depending on what y'all talking about, you want to know who you're dealing with. You, you're not just, she's not just pulling up and you laying down. I hope you ain't doing that. But it's all about drawing your line in the sand. You got to draw your line in the sand early. So you tell her, you know, you got a, a low tolerance for BS. She may try to sneak some BS by you to see if you're really about what you said you're about, to see if you're really going to notice a lot of the times what women will do, they're going to do subtle tests. Like my boy AMSA, they call them shit tests. You can call them whatever you want, but they're going to test you to see how smart and how quick you pick up. The best strategy to this is playing possum. You notice it, but you don't act like you notice it, but you notice it. So they're going to do little subtle tests. They're going to test, you know, test the boundaries that you said you set to see if you really stand on that. And if you don't pick up, she it, it's all dependent on, it, it's all, again, it's all dependent on what it is. That's gonna be, that's gonna be something else because disrespect, that can't be tolerated. So like overt disrespect, that can't be tolerated. So you do have to acknowledge that and you have to correct it on the spot. You can't just let that go. You can't let disrespect uh, take place and you not correct it. You have to you have to address and correct disrespect on the spot, no matter what or where you are. Now, don't make a scene if you out. You know, let's say this is one you you taking kind of serious your day, and y'all out. Don't make a scene in public. You know, but you you have to you have to correct it with your body language, or end the date, whatever whatever you need to do at that point. But don't make a scene. Don't get physical with her. Don't do all the, the hooping and hollering and shouting. That's not that's unnecessary. But women will test you to see. If you really are who you say you are, and if you really are who she thinks you are. So going ghost again, that's going to be something that you may have to use if you're dating multiple women. If you're dealing with women not that's not on a serious level and they do certain things that doesn't reinforce the position that you as the man has set forth. If you say, well, this is, this is the presence I'm going to have with her. This is how I'm going to rock with her. And she got to take it or leave it. If she if she says she takes it and act like she takes it at one end, and then you start to see that change, okay, she may be grifting or drifting off to, you know, monkey branching. You can cut it off. It serves you no purpose after that. You get too, you get too used to getting water that you feel that you're going to own it. So you can ghost. You can ghost. A lot of these women are gonna call you this and that and say names when they do the exact same thing to men. You gotta, you wanna play the game the way they want, the, the way they approve because you didn't say this or you should have told me this. Or you gonna, they're gonna find a problem with everything that you do because it didn't go their way. If it doesn't go their way, you can do it with, you can do, you can have all the tech, you can have a syllabus, you can have transcripts on what you talked about. If it doesn't go her way, she's going to demonize you or villainize you as doing something that's un, uh, unethical, if you will. You, 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 you was wrong. They're going to find a way to call you something. That way they feel better about telling that story to who they was bragging about. Because a lot of the times, these women, they, they get to talking. They love chatting it up, comparing the guys that they're dealing with in these circles. So... They have to find a good lie to go back and tell their tribe or their group of friends why they're no longer dealing with you. So they have to villainize you. They have to villainize you so it sounds good. Oh, he did that girl. He was wrong because she's putting it off like they're innocent. Now, again, women will lie. If they come off and they just acting like they this and that, you know, they, 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 they savage and they got all these dudes, then they'll lie and say, you know, girl, I cut him off. He wasn't doing, they'll lie. Again, that you wouldn't know and it shouldn't concern you, but you can't play clean ball all the time. You don't, you may have to play a little dirty ball. You may have to do a little ghosting. And again, that's when you don't find, find the situation favorable or you feel that she's testing you a little too much to see how she can manipulate you. Because when she tests you, she, she takes that information and she brings it back to her tribe began to disseminate it. Girl, I did this and he did that. What should I do next? So I'm thinking about doing this. They're gonna do too much testing. You ghost that because now it's now it's a mind game. Don't play games with women. When the, you when you the first sign you recognize is the mind game and the cat and mouse and all of that, you wanna immediately exit. Ghost. Immediately. 
because you you as a, as a stand up guy you've been keeping it at one hundred you've been keeping it thorough with us to where this is not necessary if you feel you want something else then just convey that message and this is talking to the women the moment you recognize mind games and these little tricks and flaking and you know inconsistencies ghost we're going ghost immediately nothing else to talk about I don't owe you any explanation you don't owe me any explanation. We're not finna reconcile, and because what you do when you start to reconcile, if you go ghost or punish or ice, whatever you do, you start to enable or reward bad behavior. A lot of the time, she does is because she wants to bring a certain side of you out. She wants you to go savage, so she's doing what's necessary to get you to respond. So she wants more aggression. She wants more passion. She wants more energy from you. That's why she starts doing all of these different mind games and, and tricks to no avail so again you start playing mind games you start seeing too many inconsistencies overall just disinterest don't drag it on because it'll bite you in the end if your interest is not there you feel that this is not doing it for you then just you know exit you could be a gentleman and say you know what this not it's not working you know um you know i think we need to you know end the situation you can't go that route you can't go that route some of those sometimes that's called that close your conversation it all it doesn't always go in your favor it can get ugly depending on how emotionally invested she's in and a lot of times you guys are tricked into that conversation where we need to talk in person they want to get one last hoorah or they want to take something on their way out so don't be afraid to ghost you want you can't always play, play clean ball you know you may have to you know hey i'm going to ghost i don't care if you like it or not to date master.